the overall order of reaction is 3. So this is our rate equation. We have successfully made a rate equation. And then it asks us, use the rate equation uh, and uh, to use the rate equation to calculate the rate constant, uh, include the units for the rate constant in your answer. Okay, so I have the rate equation now, so I can remove M and N. I don't have space because I actually did not copy the space in the question. So uh, I'll just do this calculation over here. They want me to calculate the value of rate constant and the units of the rate constant. So we'll do that in a minute. Uh, this is squared and this is to the power of 1. So now K is equal to rate over NO squared times O2. So we know this. Now, uh, next thing that we have, so we have, so we, this is the value of k. So we can actually use any of these experiments to uh, calculate the value of k because it will be the same in each case. k is a constant, it will be the same. So let's use experiment 1 3.5 over 0 0.1 squared multiplied by 0 0.05. And this is equal to, so 0 0.1 squared multiplied by 0 0.05 and we divide this by 3.5, so uh, we get 7000. So the value of k turns out to be 7000. Now if you, uh, if you do the same for experiment 2, let's do it. So it will be 1.75 divided by 0 0.05 square into 0 0.1. And again, we get 7,000. And we will get 7,000 for experiment 3 as well. So we know that the value of k is 7,000. Now let's figure out the units. Now the rate, the unit of the rate is mole per dm cube per second. Mole per dm cube per second. And the units of concentration are mole per dm cube. But in total, we have uh, we have to cube it because there are two from because square because of NO and then O2 has the same units. So in the denominator, the units are mole cube dm minus nine. So so if we divide these, what we get is we get mole to the power of minus two dm to the power of six per second. So these are the units of K for this reaction. So depending on the rate equation, the units of K will differ, but uh, this is how we calculate the value and this is how we calculate the units. So we have calculated the value of K and we've also calculated the units of K. So now we can move forward. So interpreting the order of reaction from concentration versus time graphs, okay? So let's take A in each case. So let's take, so uh, zeroth order is basically the concentration of A to the power of zero. Okay, so before we move further, let me just tell you that the order can be zero, the order can be an integer, and the order can also be a fraction. So if you ever get a fraction as the order, don't, uh, and your calculations are absolutely right, don't panic because it can be fractional. So don't really worry about that. So rate is equal to K times a to the power of zero. So now if you look at this, um, a, anything to the power of zero is one. So for zeroth order, we can simply write that rate is equal to k. Okay. So this reaction is zeroth order and rate is hence equal to k. So rate is equal to the rate constant. Now we can prove this because if you calculate the gradient of this graph, which is delta C, which is the change in concentration over change in time, this is the rate. And as you can see, this is a straight line. And a straight line has a constant gradient. So since the gradient is constant, you can see that rate is a constant because rate is equal to the gradient and the gradient is constant. And here from the equation, we can see that rate is equal to a constant. And therefore the gradient is constant and hence we get a straight line. So for zeroth order reactions, this is the concentration versus time graph. 
for zeroth order reactions this is the concentration versus time graph now let's look at a first order